I'm John with Fluid Nine Fluid Power, and we've been getting a lot of calls and requests on how to adjust the uh, pressure adjustment on our A10 V Rex Roth controls. The one I have here is an A10 VSO4531 design, and you can tell it's a 31 because the mounting holes are turned from the actual porting. Uh, the, the 52 design, all that is in line. And in part two, uh, when we actually test the unit, you'll be able to see a 52 design. But for right now, we'll just go over the adjustments on these controls. So this one here is a DFR or DR, depending on how the adjustment screws are positioned up here. This section here is usually your load sense or standby adjustment. And this bottom section here, that is for your main pressure adjustment. So if you have a DFR and you want to make it a standard DR, what you want to do is just bottom out this screw here and then all you're left with is just the pressure adjustment on the bottom section of the compensator. So to do that, you just want to remove this locking, this cap on the, on the end here, take that off, and usually underneath you might have some kind of sealing rings or something. Make sure you don't lose those or damage them because once you put the caps back on and you put it into service, it'll start slowly leaking out of there. Um, so then after you remove that, then you want to remove and loosen your lock nut here. Uh, the only thing that you're left with is your adjustment screw, which usually takes an Allen head or an Allen socket. So you want to put that in and just bottom it all the way out. Screw it until it bottoms out, until it's snug, and then just back it out just a little bit. Tighten down your lock nut. And then make sure you always have enough thread so that you can put the cap back on securely and it doesn't fall off or break if it gets uh, tapped or hit. So um, make sure you put the cap back on there, snug it down. There you go. Now you've just eliminated this whole function, the load sense function from the control. So the only thing you're left with is a standard pressure comp, which is this adjustment here. And it, like I said, in part two, what we'll do is we'll actually test the unit and show you uh, what the pressure adjustment is on here. So that's it for this video. Tune into our next ones.